So here it is. The stainless steel balancing string. I'm going to start putting on the mains. It's actually very strange because it is very stiff when handling the string. The cable or whatever you're going to call this. And I'm especially careful because I don't want to make any kinks on the string at all. If I do that, that might create some weakness and it may cause the string to snap prematurely. So I'm doing my standard flying clamp starting procedure which some of you might have seen before but some of you might not so here it is firstly I'll clamp the string with a fine clamp on the outer edge you can of course use a starting clamp for it but I don't have a starting clamp so I just use a regular flying clamp and actually I use a pair of the MBS flying clamp which I reviewed so now I'm going to start the first tension on this let's see how this goes little bit of stretching not much more Here, very clearly, the difference in tone. Because this string has less friction on it, so it's higher tension, so a higher tone. This string, this segment, goes through one round, therefore, the tone is lower. But that's not a problem, this we will see soon. Let's clamp this one on and see how this one can release it. Oh, it holds which is good. We are currently at 21 pounds and let's keep going. I'm not really worried about the Diablo in this case because I believe the string surface is actually stiff enough to not use the Diablo because it's a stainless steel. Something is really stretching over here. Is it slipping or stretching? It's stretching a little bit, which is a little bit worrying. So I don't really want this to snap. this quickly and move on all right all right let's keep going this will take a little bit longer because I'm going to be a little bit more careful on what I'm doing here. Yes, I believe we don't actually know what is going to happen to the string or the racket with a stainless steel string like this. Actually this one looks very thin. I'm not sure whether it is the reflection or something else, but it makes the string look much thinner than the regular string that we normally use. This one slipped a little bit. No, it stopped slipping. So, contrary to what I was observing before, this actually stretches a little bit. As you can see, the machine is still 
doing his constant pull job by compensating for any slack or stretching on the string. So it is doing some it's just doing some um, stretching. I'm gonna try Diablo for this pool because it looks like there may be some slipping on the gripper. And see whether this time is actually better. Okay, seems to be a little bit more stable. This is kind of scary. All right, now I'm gonna move on to the other side of the string. So this is the way it works. Remember this string has a higher tension than this one. Now we're gonna re-pull this string again. That will pull this one back to regular tension. Okay, now I can take out this MBS flying clamps and I can continue on the other side of the main string. And I'm going to clamp this and test whether it actually holds tension. I'm not sure whether how I'm not sure how good the gripping is for that. So I'm going to as a precaution put another flying clamp here. And it looks like this one holds and actually holds pretty well. Um, there is very little movement. So I'm going to continue. I'm going to use the Diablo um, with a little bit of a risk of twisting the string. And any twisting on a stainless steel string. It's going to be quite different than a regular string. So I'm going to move the clamp here. All right. As you can see, any kind of twisting is very noticeable on a string. Oops, see, there's one loop here which I need to get rid of by hand. I don't want that to develop into any more kinks. That potentially and probably will will weaken the string. I'm not going to do the Diablo anymore because I think the Diablo actually twists the string a lot. Now, we're going to do the Yonex going into 12 and coming back on 10 pattern just like what we would normally do on regular string. No difference at all. So this is going to be a pretty straightforward Yonex pattern that I'm doing. Okay, I'm getting crazy slipping over here. What is going on? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my sandpaper to wrap around the string before I put it into the gripper. I'm hoping that the sandpaper itself with the sand surface is going to provide extra gripping, extra traction on the surface, which it did. And that worked out pretty well. The sandpaper I'm using, I believe, is a 800 grit sandpaper. Is I believe, fine enough to not cause too much damage to the string itself. And at the same time, also provides enough traction. So that the string won't slip like this. And as you see, since I'm using flying clamp, I have to clamp between the 11th and the 9th string. And then when my 10 one comes back, ah, uh, this strange configuration here. And I'm gonna release it, and it should give us a pretty good thing. There you go. 
and no. And I'll go back to the other side and finish it off. Doing the same exact pattern. I'll go from 10 up to 12. Being careful so that I won't produce any kinks in the string. And I will have to carefully feed this inside the sandpaper. Apply the plates. A, a Yonex clamp, clamp the 11th and the 9th string, come back on 11. This is by the way the same pattern that I use when I string regular string, so it's no different at all. So I'm very used to what I'm doing here already. The tone is actually surprisingly low. I was expecting something a bit higher than that. But, you know, whatever. Um, so I'm going to... Okay, this is the hard part which I don't think anybody has ever done before. The, the, what I'm doing now is how do I tie the knot on a stainless steel string? Um, well, What do you think? I'm going to just do a regular double half hitch, one half hitch. Ouch, so I just got poked by the string itself. I don't want to tighten this too much because I don't want the string to break since nobody know whether it's going to break or not and I'm going to do another half hitch it's really strange to be doing this on a metal string and I'm having a little bit of a trouble tensioning it This one, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to tie it on two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Very easy to thread the string over to the shared hole because of the fact that, well, the string is really stiff. So it will just poke through anything, really. So a single half hitch. The first one was very easy on the other side. The second half hitch. It's not that easy, but let's see how this one goes. All right, and there we go. Let me try to release the tension and see what happens. Not much. So now the mains. It's done.